Hey, good evening. This is my second lesson for my TSO certificate. And I'm here to teach you and continue this lesson. That lesson that we made before about pets. And we begin to write an article. Now we are going to assess this article and then improve our writing skills so we can create a blog. Okay? I'm sorry if it's a little dark. It's evening. I'm here in Brazil. It's raining now. So, oh, I got the flu. I want you to teach, but I will teach you in another way, okay? Today we are going to write an article to our blog. Each one of you will choose a subject and will write. But we have a structure to write these articles and we have to follow that structure. The first thing you should know is the headline. Headline or title is a sentence that summarizes the subject of your post. You have to do a brainstorm, write ideas, search on the internet, and then after you choose your subject and after you think about your article, you write the headline. Maybe you can let this for the last thing to write, okay? That's no problem. Then comes introduction paragraph. Here you give a brief overview of the topics you are going to talk about. This introduction is very important because it's here the reader will interest of your article or not. Try to do it with good words and a good vocabulary, okay? Next, broad paragraphs where you delve deeper into the points made you in your intro paragraph. Here, you can develop your ideas. Maybe you can use more than one paragraph. That's no problem, okay? Next, conclusion paragraph. The conclusion paragraph, you will sum up the points you made. We are going to do a blog. This is examples. The first one is a blog about pets. And the next is the blogger, a website created by Google to us create our blog, okay? Do you remember this example? This is an example of my pet Sip Squee. The first sentence is the headline. Then it comes my introduction. This is how you can introduce your article or your news, okay? Don't forget to connect with audience and put some photos to get more interesting. Photos always is interesting because illustrate better what you are writing. In our blog, I want you to put a lot of photos, okay? And now, five things you need to know about writing articles by Nicola Prentice. This is very useful, okay? The first thing you need to know is the reader is identified. What is that? An article is like a direct conversation with the reader. The exam question might tell you who your readers are. For example, the students at a school or the people living in a town or people who are interested in sports or each subject you choose to write in our blog. Everything you write must speak to that reader and engage their interest right from the first sentence. 
Number two, it has to get attention. If you are anywhere on the internet these days, you'll be bombarded with articles with headlines that pull the reader in. It's called clickbaiting. And all the writers try it to do is make you open the page to read their article. You need to think like a journalist when you're writing a yard article. Look at a head heading and the first line of this article. How did I get your attention? Three, it has to be interesting. Of course, for an article to work, it has to be engaging enough to read all the way through. Remember how bored the examiner must be after reading 50 exam papers. Make it easier for them and get a good impression about your writing, okay? Add humor, real life, or make up examples, or make up quotes. It's all interesting and make the things easier to the reader. Number four, it has to be easy to read. <laughs> Use subheadings to break up the text or make clear paragraphs. Write in a semi-informal conversation style. Remember, when we are writing, you have to always think we are talking to the reader. Okay? Keep in mind that you want the reader to keep reading. So don't tell them exactly what they will read. This is not interesting. Be quiet, Number five. Write a good ending. Well, this is the most important thing, don't you think? In an essay, you sum up the points that you have gone before and draw a conclusion from that. But in an article, it's better to give the reader something to think about, perhaps by asking them another question or giving them a call to action. Often, the best endings link back to the starting point in some way. Now, you have to choose your section. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.